Okay, if you are tired of dealing with all of those pesky rod tubes, we're gonna show you some solutions, some alternate solutions to storing and traveling with your fly rods. All right, for anybody who's compiled a number of fly rods over the years, one thing you've probably realized is that the rod tubes themselves are fairly cumbersome and they don't travel particularly well if you're gonna travel with more than two or three fly rods or more than a couple, really. So what we're gonna talk about today is ways that you can uh, handle and travel with multiple fly rods and in fact, one of the things that I do with my fly rods is, especially the ones that I use on a consistent basis, uh, is I'll take them out of the tubes permanently and I keep them in their rod socks and I keep them off to the side in a closet. Uh, I know a lot of the guys here do that same kind of thing, so it's not uncommon to be as heathen as we are uh, separating the tubes from the socks. But if you wanna do that, we'll talk about some options that we can use to get your rods uh, safe to where you're going, um, safely stored, and make them easier to get at and easier to use. All right, so what I've got here are several rod tube, rod holder options for you. Uh, we sell a number of different options, and so I'm just going to touch on a few of them. Kind of at the most affordable option are these Clear Creek rod tubes. They also come with a reel holder. And most of these are the same kind of concept where you will unzip these and it has some PVC uh, wrapped in uh, some level of Cordura or uh, other fabric that you can stick the rods into. Um, one thing with any of these, while it does allow you to put your or leave your reel on the reel seat of your rod, I still don't recommend it. If you are going to transport them together, I recommend taking the reel off of the rod, putting it into a, its own little case, and then you can enclose it in here. Um, I've had a couple of bad experiences, so I know from experience that that uh, is a better option than keeping your reels attached. These are nice because they protect your rod from any crushing. There are some airlines that will allow you to travel with a tube like this, but always check traveling with rods can be um, it can vary from time to time depending on the airline and the gate agent or the TSA people. So I always recommend checking ahead when it comes to travel. Another option, the Sims Rod Vault, Rod Reel Vault. And this one is a single option. And again, it's got the zipper. And then this one has a little Velcro enclosure. So it will pop open there. And again, this is a one rod uh, capacity tube that again, you can put your rod in there, put the reel in. And then this one's really nice because you can literally one hand it, open and shut. Uh, also for traveling purposes, it does have a little name or even if you leave it on the top of your car and drive off, uh, you can put your name on this one. This one's only $100, $99.95 at least today. And it comes with a handle and a strap that you can use. I find these to come in handy quite a bit. Uh, when I'm walking in and out with my fly rod. So again, those are single rod options. There are also double rod options, and this is uh, one from Sage. Very similar in concept. This one, however, does pop open with uh, zippers on the bottom. And it's the same concept where you've got some PVC in there, areas for the rod uh, pieces to go, and then a separator to kind of keep them separated. Uh, again, you can transport the reels attached if you want. This is all padded, so I would feel okay traveling with this. A good option if you just want to go out for a day with only a couple of rods. So, good option from Sage. Okay, another newer option that we have on the market are the Patagonia Travel Rod Rolls. This is not going to be for everyone because they are in fact crushable but they're stiff enough that, you know, they're not gonna crush easily. The way they work is it's just a, a roll with these two little clips and you spread them apart and you would insert the rod with the sock into these elastic bands and the, the little end flaps here will keep the rods in place. 
They have a capacity of four, depending on the rod, you may be able to get another one in there. Um, and then it simply just folds or rolls back up and you can adjust and clip this however you want. If you're traveling around, like if I were going out on a side-by-side -side or a quad or something, and there was ever the, a danger of um, setting something heavy on top of this or running over it, this is not the tube I would use to, to store these. But if you're just going to travel, like on an airplane, I think this would be a, a really good option for, for multiple rods because it's somewhat compressible, very compact, and it will store them securely. The rods are not going to come out of there. So anyway, it's a good option, maybe not for everybody. If you are going to do, like the majority of the guys here will tend to do, is we'll just have a pile of rods sitting in a room somewhere. Uh, maybe not the most organized way to do it, but no rod tubes, just rods and socks. And then what I'll do, and there's a couple different sizes of these bazookas. This one will hold uh, seven or eight rods probably. Um, this would be good if you're going to travel with a lot of rods, which is sometimes needed, not necessarily always a great idea, uh, but I, I do have both sizes of this style of bazooka tube. But what I will do is I'll have the smaller one that holds you four to five rods. So the night before a trip or the morning of whatever, I'll go and pick the rods out of the rod socked pile that I have, um, choose those rods that I want, and then I'll put it into my bazooka and then that's what I'll carry to the river or the lake. These are nice because it keeps all the rods together. It would take a bulldozer or maybe Cheech stepping on this to crack and break my rods, um, but they're gonna be extremely safe in this. And if you wanted, you could literally store most of your rods in something like this bigger size. Bazookas and these bigger rod uh, tube options are great for multiple rod setups where you don't wanna have to be uh, taking four different tubes with you to the river to the lake. Another option that I really like, and this is a good thing for carrying and traveling with not just rods, but also reels and other tackle that you want to bring along, are these bigger kind of carry-it-all. So this is the safe passage from Orvis. The carry-it-all is broken into two sides, so or basically three sections. We've got our rod sock section, so you just put your rods in here with the socks. Usually you keep the uh, rods protected. This zips up. You can put liters, tippet, small fly boxes, anything else that you want to keep in kind of the same zone that's not going to bulk this up. And then it has a really great dividing system with these little Velcro inserts. So you could uh, make an area that's bigger for bigger fly boxes if you wanted to carry those. It's going to carry a ton of reels. So this is kind of your carry it all. You could put a ton of things in this. Uh, it also travels well, very sturdy, has straps to carry and a nice handle to carry it on. Uh, I like the color scheme on this one. Anyway, th these are great to carry a lot of things. This one from Sims is nice too. This is the Sims GTS Rod and Reel Vault. Uh, same concept there. Additionally, and this is a game changer in my opinion, backpack straps. It also has a, a name tag insert you can put. So if you, if you do need to check luggage, you could take these straps off and put them inside or, or secure them however you want. But it's the same idea here where you just have a zipper and it will open up to different sections. This one's a little different in that you would put your rods along this side. Reels and other things you could put in this which is zippable and closable. And then you could put leader, tippet, uh, any other things that you want to store that are not as bulky on this side. And it's fairly rigid, so it would travel well, not going to get damaged. And the, again, the nice thing with this style of uh, rod and reel uh, container and case is that you can fit a lot of different things in them. They're not specifically made for just rods and reels like this. Um, they're gonna be a little spendier. I think this was a couple hundred bucks, but uh, this is a good option. Okay, so we've covered a lot of options that you can use to travel with your rods, to store your rods and reels, and to keep them safe and also organize them. Over the time as you begin fishing more and more, if you're just starting out, you think you're okay with just one or two rods. Well, newsflash, you're not. You're gonna end up getting a bunch of rods, a bunch of reels, 
and uh, you need a good way to organize them. So these are good types of solutions to help you organize, help you travel, and help keep your gear safe. Check us out. Give us a subscribe. Please click below. All the info on the products are in the description below in the links. Visit our website at flyfishfood.com. Subscribe and like.